Welcome back to the fourth season of Corey Reads. Now, I've been read The Runaway Bunny already, and now it's time to read the second book of the day is Good Night Moon. I just want to remind you that this story is about things that come alive and they wanted to say goodnight to. And that's what that story means a lot to me. So, are you ready to read it? Because I am. Then let's do it. Here we go. Good Night Moon by Margaret Wise Brown. Pictures by Clement Hurd. In a great green room, there was a telephone and a red balloon and a picture of the cow jumping over the moon. And there were three little bears sitting on chairs and two little kittens and a pair of mittens and a little toy house and a young mouse and a comb and a brush and, and a bowl full of mush and a quiet old lady who was whispering hush. Good night, room. Good night, moon. Good night, cow jumping over the moon. Good night, light and the red balloon. Good night, bears. Good night, chairs. Good night, kitten. Good night, mittens. Good night, clots. Good night, socks. Good night, little house. And good night, mouse. Good night, home. And good night, brush. Good night, nobody. Good night, mush. And good night to the little old to the old lady, whispering hush. Good night, stars. Good night, air. Good night, noises, everywhere. The end. That was fun, and I like the way they I like the way I read it, and this is the best book. This is the best book ever. <laughs> and when we come back, I like to read the third and final book, and it's called Henry Burp Mind Your Manners. And later on, I like to recap all three books for today, when the fourth season of Corey Reads continues after the break.